Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to put the strings onto our slotted pieces for our Alexander Calder. So in our last video, we made the slotted pieces. We slotted them and slid them onto our sculpture. So like right here, you can see this cool piece has been slotted onto my sculpture. And then underneath it, you'll see that there's pieces of string or yarn kind of matching the colors, the warm and the cool colors through here so that you have some extra kind of interesting strings and if you blow on them they should blow around as your sculpture stands there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how to put those pieces of yarn on. So I'm going to move my sculpture out of the way and I'm just going to have this one small piece that we made last time. You're going to need your six small pieces that you're going to slot on you're going to need a piece of yarn, so over on the side counter there are the um, yarn containers. Remember you pull out a little bit and you can kind of see how it's um, coming out of this hole. And then use your scissors to cut it out here past the edge so that there's a little tail left over for the next person. Okay, So you'll need a piece of string and then you'll need a yarn needle. So if you uh, over on the same side counter with the yarn, there's going to be a container of yarn needles. There should be um, at least four in each container. And you'll take one yarn needle and bring the container back to your table. And once you're done using it, put it back into the container. Okay. So you'll have your one yarn needle. Then all you're going to do is take the yarn and string it through the eye of the needle. So right here, if I turn this, you can see the hole there, the eye of the needle, and you're going to take the yarn and slide it through the eye of the needle like that. Okay. Once you get it through the eye of the needle, you're going to take your slotted piece and you're just going to stick it into and through that paper. So you can see how it's coming through the other side and then just pull it through until that last piece comes all the way through. Okay. Once that piece comes through here, then you can pull your needle off. Now, you can decide how long you want this. All right, if I look back here, this red one, you can see it's all about that long. I don't want them hanging all the way down onto the ground. I want them to be free flowing. So if I take this piece and I stick it back into my sculpture, here I might say, okay, well, this string that's here, let me turn it ever so slightly. There we go, that's a little better. No? Here we go. This string on this side, I want to be hanging down so that it's just off the floor there. So I'm going to pull it up, and now it's just dangling free. And the other side, I want it to be dangling about the same amount. So I'll just trim it right here. And now I have both of those kind of dangling free, okay, which is what we want. All right, so there's your piece of yarn. Now, you could do this a couple times. So here's my yarn needle and my yarn again. I'm just going to stick it through the eye of the needle. One more time. There it is. And then I'm going to stick it through the next part. I'm going to want like two or three pieces of yarn in each one of those little six slotted sculpture pieces. So this one I'm going to hang on to this side and pull the other side through and then readjust it so that they're about the right length and if they're a little too long you can always go back and trim it a little bit like that. So now that's hanging free. Okay. So you're going to just cut a couple of pieces of yarn for each one. Notice I have the cool colors on my cool slotted piece. All right. And on the warm colored piece here, I have a warm colored piece of yarn. So, those are the things that you'll need and that's what you'll be doing, putting the string through your slotted pieces for your Alexander Calder sculpture. When you're done, make sure you put your needles back. You should have at least four in each container. And make sure you clean up the yarn at the yarn counter. 